Hey there guys, Rain here, and today we're taking a look at the Jurassic World Dino Trackers, I think is what that line is called, Dryptosaurus. It's a Dryptosaurus, which if you don't know is a relatively obscure Tyrannosaurid from North America, specifically New Jersey. Uh, not exactly where you commonly think of dinosaurs. Um, I haven't really found, thought, found any other um, toy line that's ever made a Dryptosaurus, so I kind of got interested when I saw this thing was in the announcements. Um, I have mixed feelings on this figure, to be honest. It looks really nice. I do admit it looks really nice. And other than the shrink wrapping and the fact that it doesn't really have feathers, other than maybe these things, maybe these are supposed to be quills, but they kind of look more like spikes to me. So, although the fact that they are laid out on the tail in the same position as, you know, quills makes me think, okay, maybe there are quills. Oh, and also the arms might be inaccurate, but we don't know that on Triptosaurus, to be honest. Um, it's not a bad looking figure. I think it looks good. Um, functionality, however, it's a little iffy. It's part of the electronic gimmick dinosaurs, so moving the head side to side will make it make noise. And she's already fallen over. Um, yeah, okay. Here's my main issue with this figure. I don't know if this is an issue on mine specifically or on everyone or on every copy of it, but one of the legs is not properly screwed in, which means that she does not like to stay up at all. She'll fall over at the tip of the hat. In fact, let me just... Oh, wow, she actually managed to withstand that. Of course, you don't want to fall over when I want to demonstrate it for people. <sighs> Bitch. Anyways, um, other than that, articulation-wise on the figure is pretty standard for... Oh, yeah, there we go. There we go! Uh, for Jurassic World figures, the arms are on ball joints, so you can move them around decently. The head is on a swivel that unfortunately you can't lock in place and you can't keep the mouth open either the tail is um yeah you know what fine just fall over the tail can be rotated but i don't see any reason why you'd want to do that and the legs are able to be moved but as you can see this leg in particular is really really badly screwed in so i can't get her to stand up very well also for those who want it here's her dna scan code pause the video now if you want to get it okay so, I'm not sure if it's just my copy or if every copy of the figure is affected by this, but if it is every copy, that's a major uh, drawback that I don't think this, that makes this figure kind of not worth it, in my opinion. Don't get me wrong, I think the figure looks good. I think the figure looks perfectly fine, actually. But, having the figure like that, uh, having it where the leg just keeps giving out, that's not good. If that's not every copy of the figure and it's just mine, then... I mean, go ahead. Like, go ahead and purchase this figure if you're interested. Um, but if it is every copy, then I would really recommend uh, at least thinking about it. Of course, if you are knowledgeable, if you could probably take the leg off and screw it back in more tightly, which um, I don't, I just don't have the technical knowledge to do. But I mean, that's a possibility if you are knowledgeable enough to do that but if it is every copy then i would at least recommend you uh think about it before you get this figure also completely off topic her halluxes are fucking enormous look at those